Hi friends, I'm Dave Barclow, pastor at Fort Walton Beach First United Methodist Church. Welcome to the Pastor's Study, our daily devotional to help us focus our mind on the things of God. Uh, today we are finishing up the epistle of James. We have made it through all five chapters. We have heard challenging teaching about uh, who we show preference towards, about how we uh, use our words, uh, about how we treat one another, uh, and how we expect to be treated. And it is a, a challenging book, but an oh-so-practical book for us. And he uh, ends this uh, this book, and he doesn't. It's not flowery language. He, James wastes no words. Even his very ending paragraph is instructional to us. Uh, so I want to read to you chapter five, verses nineteen and twenty, uh, to close out the book here. My brothers and sisters, if any among you wanders from the truth and is brought back by another, you should know that whoever brings back a sinner from wandering will save the sinner's soul from death and will cover a multitude of sins. Here, James, right up to the end, is giving advice, important advice, eternal advice. And it's interesting to me, he's talking about the need for us to correct one another, the need to, in love, uh, but talk to one another, to, to encourage one another, uh, not just in, in happy, feel-good terms, but in conviction terms, in terms of pointing out right and wrong as well. And it, and it strikes me, actually, that this is what James thinks he has been doing uh, this whole letter long. All letter long, he's been trying to correct the bad practices, the sinful behavior of the churches that, that he's seen in the way that they talk about one another, in the way that they hurt one another, in the way that they preference the rich over the poor. He, he sees all this as sin and needing to be corrected. And he kind of gives us uh, the reason why right here at the end. Because he wants to save our souls and cover a multitude of sins. Friends, I hope that this walk through James has been instructive for you. I know it has been for me, convicting anyway. Uh, but may we take the words to heart. May we hear James calling us to a true, deep, authentic faith uh, that keeps us unpolluted by the world in taking care of orphans and widows. Remember, friends, I love you. Take care of yourself and shine the light of Christ.